close your eyes and sit comfortably on the chair or whenever you are and your feet firmly on the floor and your arms resting by your side and you're listening to my voice and feeling safe and secure and relaxing and unwinding and let go and you can go inside and become absorbed in your own awareness and as you do so I'm going to count backwards from 300 300 and 299 and 298 and 297 and 296 Two nine five, two nine four, two nine three, two nine two, two nine one, and you can continue to count your own mind only as fast as you can go and the deepest relaxation open up that way to that place where change is possible and as you count and I continue to talk to you and you continue to count and if you lose track of that count that's okay begin again from whatever number you choose to remember relaxing your feet and your calves and unwinding and let go and relaxing the back of your legs and the tops of your legs and unwinding and let go relaxing your back and all the muscles agree to unwind and to let go relaxing your stomach and the nerves unwind in the neck go relaxing your neck and your throat and your shoulders unwind and neck go relaxing the back of the neck and the back of the head and the top of the head and the forehead and releasing all those worries Round the eyes, soft and wind and let go. And notice your hand. Is one hand warmer than the other? And I wonder if you sit there, if you can feel the difference. And as I talk to the unconscious part of the mind, I want to find that part of you that's causing any problems in your life or one particular problem you've chosen to sort out and when your subconscious mind has found that part of you that's causing the problem in your life your subconscious mind can indicate by moving any finger on your left or right hand And now I'm talking to another part of your subconscious mind, the part of you that knows all the solutions, the problem solver, the hero or the heroine, the part of you that simply sorts problems out, the wise soul within you. I'm going to ask you to find a new way of fulfilling the same positive intention without the old way interfering. 
and just indicate with any finger on the chosen hand when you found the new way of fulfilling that same positive intention. Thank you. And can I check for any objections from your subconscious mind? If there are, indicate. For if there are no problems, then your subconscious mind will proceed to make the changes. Having found that new way of fulfilling the same positive intention. And if your subconscious mind agrees to apply these positive changes now, then indicate by moving any finger on your chosen hand. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm going to carry on and continue talking to the part of your subconscious mind, the part that knows all the solutions, the problem solver, the wise soul within you. And I'm going to ask you to find the second way of fulfilling the same positive intention without the old ways interfering. And just indicate again with your chosen finger and your chosen hand when you found that second way of fulfilling that same positive intention. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm still talking to that subconscious part of your mind, the part of you that knows all the solutions, the problem solved. Why soul within you? Part of you that simply sorts problems out. And I'm going to ask you to find a third and the most fulfilling way of fulfilling the same positive intention without the old ways interfering. And just indicate with your chosen finger on your chosen hand when you found that third way of fulfilling that same positive intention. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And once more I'll check for any objections. When no objections then your subconscious mind will proceed to make these three changes having found three new ways of fulfilling the same positive intentions and if your subconscious mind agrees to apply these three positive changes then indicate by moving any finger on your chosen hand thank you thank you thank you for that and each night you sleep those three positive new ways will become deeply ingrained in your subconscious mind, relaxing you deeper and feeling more relaxed and with each new day will bring you closer to those positive intentions that your subconscious mind has agreed to fulfill these three new ways of living a life worthy of your intention.
and now you found those three new ways of improving your life. So just beginning to close your eyes. Imagine you're on a journey and this journey is deep within your own consciousness, your own mind to go back, back in your past and see if you can remember incidents in the last few years that have brought about negative change in your life. Just give you a moment just to think about that time to bring it to your consciousness, your awareness. What happened? When was it? How did it make you feel? And how has that affected you today? to go back to that time and now I want you to bring in a wise soul it can be one your imagination conjures up or someone you know and I want you to bring them to that time in your life where that change happened. And we to ask them for their advice. What would they do? What would they have done differently? Or even yourself now when you reflect back. What would you have done differently? And what's the first thing that come to mind, as simple as it sounds, what was that? That's the lesson. I want to imagine that you pick up that lesson and you hold it close to you and you bring it forward to the present moment wherever you are now you listen to my voice and that lesson, that learning I want you to almost slot it into your subconscious mind. Imagine it like a CD player, subconscious mind, and you put this lesson in as that CD stored. A lesson for you was, and you learned. Ah, it's good. And you come through it in the end, didn't you? Let's go back a bit further. 
again. You can take that wise soul with you. Someone you trust. Go back. Further and further. To your past. See if you can remember another time where life's events changed everything for you. What happened? How did it make you feel? And the same question to you, to the wise soul. What would you have done differently? What would change? First thing that comes to your mind, what was that? And what did you learn? What have you learned from that experience? Imagine again picking that lesson and coming back into the present moment. And again, that CD player there. And the lesson in the form of a CD, just pop it into the subconscious part of your mind, that lesson you've learned, what? Wow. What would you do differently? You learn something again by yourself. And you came through it, didn't you? Go back one more time for now. That wise soul by your side, someone you trust. Further and further and further back, as back as you wish to go today. To a life event that shaped your adult life. So something perhaps in your childhood find it, search for that, what event was it, what happened, how did it make you feel, Ask the wise soul or your own you know, self. What would they do different? What did you learn? And bring that lesson back. to the present moment once more. What you learned was did you learn? And put that lesson in the CD player again, story. Deep in your subconscious mind, what would you do differently now? And I ask your subconscious mind to take these three profound lessons and take them forward in your conscious reality of everyday living to make you stronger because you come through it all didn't you 
what lies before you is nothing compared with that lies within you, that strength, presence of mind. And they ask your subconscious mind to make these positive changes going forward, these lessons that you've learned. Thank you, thank you. 